Hey guys, uh, welcome to a new game. I'm not sure what I downloaded, but I could have sworn it was a game called uh, Thermophobia, Charophobia, and this one's serious, like, random letters I can't pronounce. Is that, is that a word? <laughs> Wait, is that, is that like start? Is this in another language? I don't know. Anyway, let's check it out. Um, I'm supposed to be lost in the woods, which kind of looks like. Oh, okay. I'm really tall. I'm gonna guess it's not starting. Oh, okay. That is a nice car. All right, cool. Um, all right. There seems to be a house. Was this was this my destination or is this just coincidence? A big house. Or I'm very little. Hello, is there anybody home? Who is this? Name's Doctor Something. My car's a wreck. So you better help me fix this mess. I'm sorry, that's... No. I'm Dr. Ayo. I'm terribly sorry to bother you, but my car broke down. That's a better thing to say. Oh dear, a broken car? That's unfortunate. I'm not used to visitors, especially not out here. Fair. Would you like to come in and use my phone to call for a tow? Or perhaps I can get you a nearby mechanic. I should really get back to my car and wait for help. Actually, if you wouldn't mind just handling, handling, handing me the phone here, I think I'll make the call from the porch. Okay, but I'm not just for the phone, you see. I have other interests in this area. Perhaps we can have a little chat, you and I. What? Okay, that's very kind of you. Thank you. Um, Actually, I wouldn't mind handing me the phone outside. That'd be great. Oh, I'm sorry, but the phone's cord won't reach this far. You'll need to come in to use it. I assure you, it's quite safe here. Uh-huh. Um, I should really be getting back to my car away for help. All right, if that's the only option, then I must. See, I don't know if I trust this, but... Yeah, let's just go. Let's just go, go for it. All right, that's the only option. Oh, you really like white walls. You're a psychopath. I'm going to die in here. Please, come in. I'm glad to offer a helping hand to someone in need, especially on such a night. Nights are unforgiving here, and the woods are not kind to strangers. It's better to be indoors where it's safe. Yeah, I'm going to die in here. Thank you for letting me in. Now, if you would show me the phone, I need to call my wife. Um, if you point me to the phone quickly, I need to call my wife. I'm going to do this one. The phone is just down the hall. Lay a store on your left. It's a bit secluded, but you'll find it quite private for your call. By the way, when you return, would you prefer tea or coffee? I'd prefer nothing. Actually, I think I'll skip the drink for now. Wait, why is that one weirdly lit up? You see the middle one? Why is it like that? Oh, I'm going with nothing because I don't care how trustworthy someone is. Middle of the woods. Yeah, you just, yeah, don't, don't drink something when people hand you. It's always nice to have a warm drink in hand, especially on a cold night like this. Don't you think? Okay, so they're forcing me to be, uh, stupid. All right, perhaps a quick cup of coffee then. Certainly, doctor. That guy in the background, the painting? Yeah, he knows I'm screwed. A bottle of whiskey, pack of cigarettes. Yeah, that that's, that fits. This is this is not the right room, is it? She said the left. What am I looking at here? 
Oh. <laughs> okay. Never mind. I can't get out. Oh, there we go. There's a weird lamp. It must be her sewing room. Who do you want to call? Police? Um. Oh, who would I want to call? 911, this is not really an emergency. I'm not in any danger. They're going to say, well, you know what? Call when there's something going on. That the towing service. My wife. Hi, honey. I'm with some random woman by herself. And I just went through her underwear drawer. Hmm. Oh, what is that? A divorce lawyer? Okay. Um, let's go to the towing service. Hello, my car broke down in a very remote area. Can you send a tow truck? I am certain of the vehicle that won't start. Can you help me with the tow? Of course. Where exactly are you right now? I'm really unsure. It's all too confusing. There are trees and it's quite rural. Sorry, we couldn't be more help at this moment. Uh, stay safe. And if you get any more information, don't hesitate to call us back. Can I call someone else? What is this? Police station? I only get one phone call? Your coffee is ready, doctor. I've placed it on the table there in the living room. Please come and enjoy it while it's hot. By the way, I've taken the liberty of contacting someone to look at your car. They should have it fixed by tomorrow. All right. Oh. What's with your arms? Okay. Come sit here, sweetheart. She just called me sweetheart. I'll go wait out in my car. Thank you. I can actually go out. I didn't really think I could. Why don't I go to my car? Because she obviously knows I have a, a wife. Why would you get in? Okay. Do I have a crowbar or something? No, can I just run out of here? Okay, let's just go back and drink our coffee and not get knocked out. And wake up on a table with some random person over top of me wearing a robe. Maybe there's a little dagger involved. Maybe a pentagram and a goat or something. You know, really the usual. sweetheart I don't know I don't like that you a little swirl in it did you is that the the drugs I am incredibly short oh yeah Oompa Loompa Okay. If I don't get knocked out, I'll be shocked. I hope it was to your liking. It was a bit of a blend I make myself. Mm hmm. Sure. You're quite worn out, if you don't mind me saying. Why don't you stay here for the night? The bedroom is just down the hall, right door. You can get a fresh start. In the morning. Okay. There's only one bed. Where is she sleeping? Um. Do I want a rapid kill where I just immediately get knifed or something by saying I'd rather not stay in here or 
the longer one where I go to bed and wake up on a, a slab of uh, granite or something. I'm going to go with rather not. Oh, well, I suppose if that's what you feel is best. Oh, I can actually do that? I hear my heartbeat. I knew it. That is my way of breathing I'm hearing, right? Not someone back eye behind me running, chasing me. I thought for sure it was going to get darker and I was going to die or something. Howdy there, night owls and wanderers of the dark. You're tuned in to the enigmatic waves of Mystic Waves Radio where the mysteries of the midnight hour come alive. I'm your guide through the twilight, Marlon Gardy. So settle in, folks, because we're about to take a journey into the unknown. What is this, the twilight zone? Now picture this, folks. A lone figure, Sisyphus, dared to dance with destiny. Not just any dance, mind you, but a bold defiance against the Reaper himself. Yeah, you heard me right. This fellow thought he could give old death the slip, like some kind of high-stakes game of tag. But you know how the story goes, friends. You can't cheat the final curtain call. Nah, this poor soul didn't get off that easy. Instead of resting easy in the great beyond, he got himself a one-way ticket to an eternal grind. Imagine that, pushing a rock up a hill only to watch it roll back down, day in, day out, Let's for it all off. of forever. <clears throat> It's like a never-ending blues tune, ain't it? Each day, same old song, different verse. But you gotta wonder, what keeps a soul going when the odds are stacked against them? Is it stubbornness? Hope? Maybe just plain old foolhardiness? So, as you're cruising down those midnight highways or kicking back in the quiet of your own space, ask yourself, what's your rock? What keeps you pushing? even when the world feels like it's spinning against you. I don't know. This is Marlon Gardy, your guide through the shadows of the night, signing off for now. But don't you worry, friends. We'll be right here, spinning tales and tunes till the break of dawn. So keep that dial locked and keep on pushing against the odds. Until next time, folks, stay curious, stay courageous, and keep chasing those midnight dreams. Okay. This is Mystic Waves Radio, the voice of the night. All right, so is that my situation that they were talking about? Am I, is she, like, the Reaper? Okay, so apparently getting my car doesn't help. Do I talk to her again and say, all right, I changed my mind. Let's sleep in your bed. The door is locked. Knock. Who is this? Don't you know who I am? Open the door and waste my time. You're delusional if you think I know who you are. Just leave me alone. I apologize for the confusion. Oh dear, a broken car? That's unfortunate. I'm not used to visitors, especially not out here. 
Would you like to come in and use my phone to call for a tow? Or perhaps I can get you a nearby mechanic. Um. Sure, whatever. I'm, but I'm not interested in the phone. If you can catch my drift. Let's have a chat, shall we? Oh. Okay. I don't like any of these. Unless I have any foot in the creepy house. Okay. That pretty much just starts the whole thing over again, probably. Give me the damn phone here. I'll make the call myself. She'll just say it won't reach. I'm going to... Just because I'm curious. What she says you say for this. Oh my gosh, she lets me right in. Oh yeah, that's normal. What's in here? He is needed open. Set in the mood, honey. No. <laughs> All right. Doctor, I must ask you to refrain from wandering about uninvited. Okay. This old house has its quirks and privacy. Please, let's stick to the matter at hand. What is the matter at hand? Because what I said seems rather personal, doesn't it? If you need something, just let me know. Okay. I'm glad to offer a helping hand to someone in need, especially on such a night. Nights are unforgiving here, and the woods are not kind to strangers. It's better to be indoors where it's safe. Thank you for letting me in. I need to call my wife. The phone is just down the hall. Last door on your left. It's a bit secluded, but you'll find it quite private for your call. Okay, this is really strange, because the way I tossed in my first line to get into the house, none of this would imply that that was said at all. By the way, when you return, would you prefer tea or coffee? Um, let's go for tea this time. What? Why not? Certainly, doctor. Okay. Is there a secret switch or anything here? No? Alright. I'm gonna go check out your unmentionables again. See if there's anything new in there. Whoa. That is a loud clock. Okay, that's nothing changed in there. Wait a minute, why is there... Is that a pregnancy test in the corner? I'm gonna beat to it. Wait, I could sleep in her bed? Oh, I so want to do that. I just want to see what happens. Alright, so we called the tow truck. Didn't help. Oh, wait, what's going on? Who am I calling? I'm calling the 90s. <laughs> Sounds about right. You've got mail. Who do you want to call? Um, let's call my wife this time. Who do you want to call? Oh, Ghostbusters? My friend, Dr. Ethan Clark. Hey, you're not going to believe my car broke down in the middle of nowhere. Hey, Ethan, it's one of those nights my car broke down in the middle of nowhere. That's rough, man. Sorry to hear that. Are you okay out there? Anything I can do to help from here? Oh, okay for now. I was actually rushing because I wanted to get back to check on Sarah. Speaking of Sarah, how is your project going? Are you making the progress you were hoping for? I thought I was on the verge of breakthrough, but it didn't work out. It's like every path I take loops back on itself. I'm just spinning my wheels. So Groundhog's Day. I can only imagine how hard that must be, especially under the pressure of Sarah's illness. Oh, what's wrong with Sarah? 
but maybe this unexpected stop is a chance to breathe and not just push harder. Always here for you. Stay safe and let's talk soon. Give my best to Sarah. Your tea is ready, Doctor. I've set it out there in the sitting room. Please come and have a seat. It should help warm you up. Okay. By the way, I've taken the liberty of contacting someone to look at your car. They should have it fixed by tomorrow. This time we're going to go sleep in her bed. See what happens. Come sit here, sweetheart. I don't like the way she says sweetheart, though. Wait. Was that a bottle of pills? I hope it was to your liking. It was a bit of a blend you made yourself. A bit of a blend you made me. You look quite worn out, if you don't mind me saying. Why don't you stay here for the night? The bedroom is just down the hall, right door. You can get a fresh start in the morning. All right, you know what? Yeah, what? Well, why not? Sure. That's wonderful to hear. <laughs> Okay, so I'm pretty sure there's a lot of different options you could do here. Like, I don't know if this is wise. This is probably going to be like a game over. I hear you moving about. It's best if you try to keep still and rest. Try to relax and let yourself drift off. What? Where'd she go? Okay, so I guess we just... All right, so we just sit here and wait. Actually survive the night. This is different. Good morning. Oh, I didn't die. I hope you slept well despite everything. I just heard your car is all fixed up. Heard? And, and ready to go. They managed to sort out the trouble quicker than expected. You must be relieved to hear that. Yeah. Thank you. Why am I not dead? Morning. Really? This is so strange. Clearly not. Well, maybe it could be really early morning. 
If not, the sun's not even up yet, morning. Howdy there, night owls and wanderers of the dark. You're tuned in to the enigmatic waves of Mystic same? Waves Radio, where the mysteries of the midnight hour come alive. I'm your guide through the twilight, Marlon Gardy. So settle in, folks, because we're about to take a journey into the unknown. Now picture this, folks. A lone figure, Sisyphus, dared to dance with destiny. Same. Any dance, mind you, but a bold defiance against the reaper himself. Listen to his whining. It's pathetic, isn't it? He still believes you love him. Watching him squirm during these tests is strangely satisfying. I'm a monster. We're all monsters. All of us embracing this cruel science. Okay, what was that all about? Who is this? Oh dear, a broken car? That's unfortunate. I'm not used to visitors. Would you like to come in and use my phone to call for a tow? Or perhaps I can get you a nearby mechanic. Um. Yeah, thanks. Wait. Wait. Stuff's different. You're white haired now, I think. And that is not the same painting. Please come in. I'm glad to offer a helping hand to someone in need, especially on such a night. Nights are unforgiving here, and the woods are not kind to strangers. It's better to be indoors where it's safe. The phone is just down the hall. Lay a store on your left. It's a bit secluded, but you'll find it quite private for your call. Okay. By the way, when you return, would you prefer tea or coffee? Yeah, I think I'll go with coffee. Certainly, doctor. Okay. My heart is beating fast again. She has surgical tools in her kitchen or dining room. Anything different with her room? No. I can sleep right away. What happens if I just go to sleep in her bed? I mean, can I go to sleep? No, okay. This is not doing anything. I don't want to be sitting there forever. All right. So we've called everybody but 911. What have you done, my love? Oh, I didn't. I clicked by accident. But okay. Are you okay? Where are you now? I've been worried sick about you. So I've. Your coffee is ready, doctor. I've placed it on the table there in the living room. Please come and enjoy it while it's hot. By the way, I've taken the liberty of contacting someone to look at your car. They should have it fixed by tomorrow. Okay. It is a bottle of pills.
why would I just randomly just take pills on a coffee table? And it's really weird that we can still see her uh, silhouette over there. What happens if I turn off the light? I'm gonna talk to her. Apologies about your car still not being fixed. It must be frustrating to deal with this situation. A little bit, a little bit, yep. Yeah. You know, doctor, instead of waiting around here, why don't you try pushing your car up the hill a bit? There could be more options for help or repairs once you're away from this isolated spot. What do you think? Oh, dang. Oh, I don't need... Apologies. You know, there could be... All right, so there is no option for me. I have to push it. Okay. So this is my boulder. My car is my boulder. Is that what you're saying? Today on Channel 7 News. Despite the passing of nine long months, Dr. Eolides remains in a mysterious and unexplained state of hallucinatory coma. Astonishingly, reports indicate that neither his hair nor his nails have shown any signs of growth during this time raising more questions than answers about his condition. What's more, there are no visible signs of aging, leaving medical experts baffled and the public intrigued. Despite exhaustive efforts by top specialists, there has been no breakthrough in awakening him from his surreal slumber. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this perplexing medical mystery. Okay, I actually rather like that game. Um, Acherophobia? I don't know if I pronounced that right. You can see the name in the in the title and the description. You can check out your cells be down in the description also. Um, let me know what you thought of it. I thought it was pretty good. Um, check it out because I think if you probably could do different options with the with the text and stuff like that, maybe you get a different ending. I don't know if how that works. But anyway, thank you all for hanging out and watching. I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.